Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's Saturday, June 27th. I'm Lily Wu. And I'm Tanner Swift. And speaking of fireworks, I believe in many towns, many locations across the state, today is the first day you can buy Correct. fireworks. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Are you going to buy a lot? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I have a special little place that I'm going to travel down to uh, tomorrow and buy quite a few. So I'm pretty excited about that. Love the 4th of July. And usually it's very, very hot this time of year. And it, you know, a couple of or earlier in the week it was very hot. Then we cooled down quite a bit. Yesterday we ended the work week just absolutely gorgeous. Temperatures in the 80s. We had a little bit of rain. And as we head into the weekend, today is looking absolutely gorgeous. It, it, we're going to talk about temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and a light north breeze, lots of sunshine, just some perfect weather for our Saturday. Enjoy it while it lasts because it does look like those uh, warmer temperatures will return. Right now, take a look outside. You will notice when you step out the door this morning, the humidity is not all that uh, high. Uh, some fairly dry air, lots of sunshine, and the temperature fairly cool for this time of year. We're setting at a temperature of 70 degrees right now down at Eisenhower uh, National Airport. Take a look out in western Kansas. Temperatures in the 50s in some locations, still 59 degrees right now in Garden City. Warmed up to 70 degrees in Salina, 69 in Hutch. Here's a look at our day planner. Again, an absolutely gorgeous Saturday afternoon, 75 by 10 a.m. up to 80 degrees by the noon hour 3 p.m. temperature right around 85. That's kind of right where we're going to top out probably around 86 for a high. Just a light north breeze, lots of sunshine. Like I said before, that heat will return as we head into the second half of the weekend. Complete look at the forecast coming up. Thank you, Tanner. Well, it was a beautiful Friday night with the Wichita sky lighting up with fireworks. All of this in honor of our annual Hometown Heroes Award ceremony and salute to American program. Now, Cake Susan Peters and Chris Stanford hosted the program during last night's game at Lawrence Dumont Stadium, and there was a special celebration for Captain Chris Norgren and other local heroes. Norgren's parents accepted the Hometown Heroes Award on behalf of their late son. Fireworks go on sale today in Wichita and other communities. Fireworks stands will start selling fireworks to customers from June 27th to July 5th. The city of Wichita approves all the fireworks that are sold within the city limits. And if you have fireworks complaints, you can call the non-emergency line at 316-290-1011. The line would only be answered on the 3rd and 4th of July. If there are any injuries or something very dangerous, you should call 911. Same-sex marriage is ruled legal in the U.S. And here in Wichita, local LGBT activists applauded the Supreme Court's marriage ruling. Cake's Madeline Anderson is continuing our coverage from a celebration in Old Town. Old Town Square never looked so colorful. Are we having a great day or what? I mean, I'm glowing ear to ear. People with rainbow flags, face paint, and outfits filled the area in support of the Supreme Court's ruling that same-sex couples can wed in all 50 states. I've been a little emotional all day. Um, this was something that I just assumed was going to be denied to me my entire life. Paul Jackson and Dwayne Ellis have been together for five years. They say now it finally feels right to take the next step in their relationship. So we were waiting actually for today to make the announcement. So if you didn't know, now you know. We're getting married. We're getting married. Although most counties in Kansas have been issuing marriage licenses for same-sex couples since last year, the Supreme Court's decision will allow those couples to also file taxes together, visit each other in the hospital, and merge insurance. Marriage is an all-encompassing, life-changing event. If we want to change our names, I want to be able to do that. Yep. I want everything. As the evening ended with people singing America the Beautiful, speakers also reminded the crowd that more work needs to be done. LGBT citizens in Kansas can still be fired from their jobs because of their sexual orientation. Please, please, let that celebration be an inspiration to all of you because the battle is not yet won. Kansas Senate President Susan Wagle says the decision will require legislators to examine state laws protecting religious freedom to make sure residents who personally oppose gay marriage are not required to perform same-sex weddings or participate in them. Governor Sam Brownback responded to the ruling by saying, This statement, activist courts should not overrule the people of the state, who have clearly supported the Kansas Constitution's definition of marriage as being between one man and one woman. 
Another court ruling making waves across Kansas. The state attorney general's office says the state will appeal a three-judge panel ruling that key parts of a new Kansas law for funding public schools violates the state constitution. The decision on Friday by the three-judge panel in Shawnee County District Court appears to require the state to provide an additional $54 million in aid to districts immediately. The law passed by this year's legislature threw out the state's old per-student formula for distributing aid to schools, instead favoring predictable annual grants. Both sides in the legislature had different reactions to the ruling. Kansas Senate Majority Leader Terry Bruce of Nickerson called the ruling utter nonsense and said the judge panel is promoting a liberal agenda. It is extremely difficult to interpret the timing of the ruling as anything but blatantly political, order, ordering the legislature to resurrect portions of the old school finance formula does not advance student achievement and has vast financial implications on our state. Pouring more money into a broken formula is not the answer. The search for the two prison escapees in New York comes closer to an end. After a three-week-long search, Richard Matt was shot and killed near the town of Malone on Friday. That's about 30 miles from the correctional facility where he and David Sweat broke out. Authorities think they're closing in on Sweat. People who live nearby continue to be on guard. There's police and NCON rangers up and down the road with guns pointed up my driveway. and They're on guard. And they're all over. We have some throughout our yard and up in the woods hiding out. Police are using officers, dogs, helicopters in an area about 22 square miles in the search for sweat. Just days ago, the search was up to 75 square miles. Reports this morning that ISIS is claiming credit for Friday's attack at a beach resort in Tunisia that killed at least 37 people. Witnesses say a man pulled an assault rifle from a beach umbrella and fired on European sunbathers. There were two other attacks on Friday, one at a factory in France, another at a mosque in Kuwait. In all, more than 60 people were killed following a new call to violence from Islamic extremists. In the crime tracker now, police want your help finding this man in connection to a robbery last week. The suspect robbed the Dollar General store at 1919 East Pawnee on June 29th. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 267-2111. In the health alert, two people in Sedgwick County treated for rabies exposure in the past month. The virus has no cure, just a vaccine that is given after exposure. In Marion County, there have been confirmed reports of rabies in skunks and cattle. The county health department wants all residents to be careful around wild animals. Stay away from the animal. If you think you've been exposed, if you've bitten, been bitten by a stray animal, contact your health department or contact your local physician. Health providers call exposure to rabies a medical urgency, not an emergency. Treatment can usually be administered days after exposure, but rabies virus is fatal if left untreated.